Hi, I'm George, and in today's project, we're going to look at how to create your own virtual reality interactive dinosaur skeleton. The idea being that uh, students, in this case, you know, first graders, second graders, around that age range, will be able to come in and pick up these 3D printed dinosaur skeleton uh, pieces, in this case, a head. What we did was attach markers, retro-reflective markers, as you can see here, to each piece of the skeleton, eight in total. And then we're able to take these and integrate them into what you see behind you, which is actually the Unity engine running a special plugin for virtual reality applications that use distributed uh, computer clusters. In this case, we have 10 screens. Can't see them all, though. Uh, 10 screens behind us, and that's being controlled by six PCs. And uh, basically, also, we turned stereoscopic, uh, the, the quad buffer basically off so that you can actually see this and not just a big blurred image. But the idea is that these kids are going to come in here and have an interactive um, well, demonstration that allows them to try to assemble their own Tyrannosaur skeleton. So right now we're only dealing with eight bones uh, because this is supposed to only be a five minute kind of quick um, you know, exhibit, so to speak. But what they can do is, you can see we've aligned the dinosaur bones uh, with a virtual representation here. And as I move it around, actually moving it further away from the correct place makes it more and more transparent. And then as we get closer, it becomes more opaque until finally, if we get it close enough to the snapping point, bam. It clicks right into place, and uh, you know if you do this for all the bones, including you know the arms and everything else like that, uh, you get a nice victory song, and everyone's happy. So what we're going to do in the next series of videos is actually go over how we created all of this. We're going to talk about the basically the printers that we used, uh, the 3D modeling that we did. In some cases, like the head and the jaw, we didn't 3D model that, although we did optimize it using ZBrush to make the topology a little bit nicer. But the rest of it, I'll talk about how I model it in Maya LT, um, how we then uh, exported them out and 3D printed them using a MakerBot Z18, as well as a, uh, uh, a simple metal printer bot printer um, for some of the pieces and then how we actually attach the retroreflective markers, which can be kind of expensive. So you want to make sure you attach them in a way that's well, um, doesn't damage the markers and you can reuse them. And then what we'll discuss is how we use the Unity engine. It really is only two simple scripts once you've brought the models in there, one for the bones and one to manage the actual bones. And then after that, we'll talk about the plugin we use to get it working on all these different PCs. And then finally, um, you know, any kind of closing remarks on how this whole thing came together. So hopefully you enjoy the next series of videos and uh, you get something interesting out of it. Thanks.